immoral to keep an empire because the funding was these can't look after themselves. Eaton took the cream of the colonial system. It took, it took fetid foreigners and it turned them into gentlemen. Many of us are familiar with the fact that homosexuals thrive primarily upon short-term relations. Those of us who've spent hours in New York bath houses will realize that in one night you can pack in 15 loving relationships and 300 one-night stands and still be none the worse for wear. Now, when you play with condoms, if you use those and you happen to be in the presence of a Leeds housewife, say Lucy Fraser, she says, hmm, next time I think we should try peach. I was fortunate enough to know her before she pioneered uh, a new development in union democracy, the example of the single transferable girlfriend, which... which I think has uh, revolutionized the way we do things here. And I'll also say that Lucy has done remarkably well, coming as she has done from the back streets and slums of Leeds. You can still see something of the poverty there. Uh, unfortunately, she wasn't able to finish her skirt. But she has done remarkably well. So well, in fact, that last night, she was actually tempting me into bed. I knew, I knew I shouldn't have done it. I succumbed, I weakened. Who amongst us here wouldn't? Who amongst us here hasn't? But anyway. Someone said earlier that Lucy was the girl who's, who has everything. She's also the girl who's had everyone. But I'm, I'm referring, of course, to her term card, before any of you have any smutty thoughts. They're all here, all here at my department, of course, here tonight, the rain chase, here tonight. As I say, the girl who's had everyone. But last night, Lucy and I were alone together. The uh, Morton Rugby Club had finished and left slightly earlier. 